OK. So on this problem, ladies and gentlemen, they're asking us to solve for a logarithm. Now, there's two different types of things that we learned how to do with our logarithms. One was we learned that we can, so far what we learned with logarithms is we could use the equality of logarithms, saying if a logarithm equals another logarithm, we can eliminate the logs, right? Um, or we could also convert a logarithm to exponential form. So to evaluate for this, there's a couple extra things. There's also another term I'm going to show you guys to do. So to evaluate for this, I need to say I can also rewrite it in exponential form. So rewriting this in exponential form would be 7 to the x equals 2,401. So we need to say 7 raised to what power gives us 2,040, um, 2,401? Well, we know 7 to the first power is 7. I think you type 7 in my calculator. OK. 7 squared is going to equal 49. 7 cubed equals 130. OK, because I was going to say that. Didn't. Um, well, let's do 7 times 4 is going to be 28. And 7 times um, 64. So does anybody have 7 times 7 times 7 instead of me adding and multiplying these up? Sorry? What do you have, Emily? OK, let's go ahead and do it in your calculator. My brain is hurting right now. 343, OK. So now let's do 7 to the fourth. So 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, what do you know? So therefore, we can say x equals 4. All right. Another way that I want you to test this out, Cedric, is another thing. If you cannot evaluate it, there's another thing that we can use called the change of base formula, which in your calculator, such as the one that Emily has or scientific, you could also do the log. You could use base 10 in your calculator of 2,401 divided by the log of the base, which would be log of 7. If you plug that into your calculator as well, you will also get the exact same answer of 4. Okay, So that is what we do with the change of base. And we like to use the change of base formula, not so much for problems like this, but if I had to figure out a log, let's say log base 3 of 5, well, we know 3 raised to a power is not going to give us, to a, a um, integer power is not going to give us 5. So if I wanted to evaluate this, I could define the decimal form. I could use the change of base formula to find out the value of it. Okay. Over log 3, yeah. And that would help you do a problem like that. However, this one we can evaluate because we're able to figure out that it's based, you know, it's raised to the fourth power. Okay? Yes. Huh? You find the button that says.